Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's February, which means Valentine's Day is just around the corner. And I wanted to do a video for it. And I tried to do a baking video before. It didn't go well. So I decided let's just stick with what we know. Let's keep along the theme. We got a Valentine's Day gingerbread house. So our goal for this video is actually gonna be not only to build it, which we've kind of been the bit more successful with that recently. But we're also going to try to mimic the design on the box the best we can. I feel like we can do it. I always complain about it not being possible, but this one doesn't look too complicated, so I think it's a good place to start. Let's see what's in this box. All right. So in this box, we have our gingerbread house pieces here, and you can see that they're actually quite small, like the Halloween one I did before. We got the plastic for the icing. We have the icing bag itself. Pink icing. These little guys here, which are kind of neat. Instructions, which we're throwing over there. Some cute little candies. We got roses and leaves and hearts. And then we got some red icing. This will be interesting if I can get this to work. Because if I'm gonna mimic the exact things on the box, I pretty much have to be able to execute it well enough to make these edges, but also, get this to form like the heart shape and the square on the side. Interesting. The pink won't be a problem because it's already like a squeeze tube, so I'm not worried about that. This will be interesting, but we're always up for the challenge and we're a gingerbread house channel now, so. All right, so I have everything pretty much uncovered here. I separated the different pieces. They gave us this piece of cardboard. It's a little gross, but I think I'm just gonna use it for the basing. The original has this red lunch tray for some reason, covered in what looks like a white sprinkle that definitely is not in the box, so we will not be participating in that. The pretty much the rule of this challenge is we have to use everything that's available to you in the box. I can't go get more icing, I can't use other candies, that sort of thing. Because if they expect you to be able to make what's imaged on the box, you should get everything that you need to do that. Clearly a lunch tray and the sprinkles are not included in that, but it's fine. We're kind of prepared now, so I'm gonna get started on the actual construction of the house. All right, so the building process, this is gonna be the front. So we're gonna have to stick that on there. Let's try to get this together. That's not gonna stay up. That's doing pretty good so far. This back part's not sticking that well. And we'll just hold it here for a while. Okay, I've added a little more to the foundations, so hopefully that helps a little bit. It's still not very stable, but I think I'm gonna try putting the roof on. I think I'm gonna run out of icing. Okay, we'll stick the roof on. So far, so good. All right, I'm just gonna hold it here for a minute. I'll come back and we can get started on decorating. I think our first target is gonna be to focus on the roof with the white areas and adding the decorations onto the side. But it might go well, unless it all falls over, but let's start decorating. We're gonna add a little bit more to the top so it sticks. And the front one is a heart kind of on an angle. And then there's a flower, another heart and then a flower, but then the flower also has a little leaf to go with it. So that's that one. Next we'll do the front, because that has to have decorations on it as well. There's a flower in the middle with a leaf. And then we need two hearts to go there and there. It's not really even, but you know, say la vie. Then there's two more flowers on the corners, leaves pointing inward. Okay. The next step's gonna be to do these sides, which don't have decorations on them. They're just icing. We're gonna ignore the back because I can't see the back in the picture. So if I take a look here at the door, I'm not gonna be able to get it as smooth as that picture. And then on the sides, there's a little box window. This box window is a little special. So the front window looks like a little bit of a mess, but I feel like it 
will be fine when I add the pink heart and everything. And now for the decorations, it looks like it's just the same situation. So that is what we got so far for the white icing. And that looks pretty good actually. The door is a little questionable, but. Our next step is going to be focusing on these pink areas. So it's basically mostly just outline. I think where we want to start is probably the roof area. So the second one has a heart outline. Not my best work, but we're going to get the idea. Basically what I'm learning from this is that I'm not good at outlines. Not my best work, especially, especially that one. I was all excited because this icing was like already like in a tube and made it easier to work with, but that's the roof done, I guess. Now I gotta figure out this little front design here with the doorway. Not bad actually. And then I have to put a rose in the middle of it to cover it all up. Okay, and then there's like this weird birch. Maybe it's not weird. Uh, it looks bad. It's a little uh, shaky. It's not perfect. This one's too perfect. I feel like it could have been better, but I think the red's gonna make it worse, so. <laughs> All right, so the next step is gonna be using the red icing, and it's used pretty much just to fill these heart shapes on the top and then the windows that are on the side. I've realized I've kind of forgot to you make the white hearts on the top too, so I will do that now. Okay, so we'll do the white hearts first. And I think in theory you could probably like, put this in there and like try to use the thing, but they only give you one icing bag and I'm not about to um, try to clean up that white icing. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to add the, the red heart. Sure. Now we gotta do these windows. Good luck to us all. Okay, before I get too nitpicky and start adding, maybe off camera, working on a few of the details again, because it looks kind of bad, just to see if I can fix anything, see if it's possible, I have to add the final step, which is adding these decoration pieces. We have icing left, and she'll go on the other side. Well, We've done all the designing. I think I might go back in a little bit and see if I can fix anything, just to make it look a little better. And we'll come back and we'll review what I found out through this process. <laughs> Basically, here is our final result. The front looks okay, the walkway, I'm actually really happy with like how the door looks, other than how blocky it looks. These two guys are kind of blocking a little bit of the mess. I tried to recreate this uh, archway that's present right here. The icing doesn't come out as smooth as you would think it should, and I probably overworked it, which didn't help, but I mean, it's there, I guess. I'm actually kind of proud of how the uh, this top of the roof looks. It's not as like thick as this one, but I think I did a good job of kind of recreating it, along with how I added that on the sides too. The roof is questionable. So on this, they have two rows of just outlined pink and then thicker versions of the white with the white and the red icing. Ignore this one, that's just sad. I tried to recreate that the best I could. There's a few mishaps, but there's really nothing, not much I can really do with that. If you look at it from afar, other than this one, it's not awful. Like this side looks pretty good, except for this. It's a thing, it's fine. Basically what I think I learned is that Yes, you can. They give you enough materials in order to make the gingerbread house just like it is on the box. They, of course, give you more. Like, I have so many of these candies left. But yeah, that was me recreating or trying to recreate this box art for this Valentine's Day themed gingerbread house. 
If you have any ideas of what gingerbread house experiments I should actually do next, let me know in the comments below. And if you like the video, make sure to subscribe and make sure to like the video to let me know that you liked watching it. And yeah, happy Valentine's Day and thanks for watching. Bye.